Yeah. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog, guys. We haven't done a little vlog in a while, and uh, I felt like this would be something a little bit easier for me to do this week since I've been sick. I caught some kind of bug from my kid at school or something, and it's just been nailing me over the head like all weekend. So things have been delayed. Last week we got delayed too because I wasn't feeling good, and it just keeps hammering on with these weather changes. But, you know, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, starting to have a little bit more energy, still hacking up a lung and stuff which isn't fun but it is what it is it is what it is but while i've been sick i've been getting a lot of packages in the mail a lot of really awesome gladios packages and you know we've done mail day openings for force of will and crazy bones and i did a short for the gladios ones but i've got a good amount a good amount of stuff that just came in a couple things have opened but a bunch of stuff that i haven't opened yet that I just kind of want to show off and show you guys what I've been collecting with the Glios, uh, my new Glios addiction, and just see how deep my uh, addiction has really uh, gone since my two videos, the review videos. So, yeah, let's check them out. Got like four packages and then one I already opened that I definitely want to go over with you guys. Pretty cool going over some stuff that I'll be doing in the future here. Okay, first up, my little Craybooth collection. I'll do a whole review on these guys, but I've gotten so many. They're so fun to collect. These little dudes are awesome. I got more up here even. Some nice little, like, Proto-Legion ones. My skeletons, but these are the ones I wanted to show off up here. Check these guys out. Let me shut that off. That'll give you a little bit better. Super Craybooths. Oh, I got these in the mail the other day. I got the whole lot of five of them for a really, really good price. And these guys are so freaking sweet. I mean, dang. Just look at these dudes. They're so big and cool. Oh, man. Looks like that one's getting dusty already. Got a Geodraxis up there. The whole shelf is getting filled up pretty quickly. And I've got so many more that I haven't even opened and, like, put up here. So these guys are just awesome, though. I wanted to show these off. I got a really good price on them. All right, but let's get into some of the mail. First off, I got this package in just a few days ago. I had to open it up because I was very excited about what was inside. I actually got some more armivores, but these guys have some really cool head designs. This guy's got like a dragon, and then one of my all-time favorite head designs for the armivores is, I think it's called the Athrodac uh, head. I'll open him up in a second. And then I got this Parasite one that's brand new and sealed. Look at how dope that is i actually bought these from the guy who designed the armivore heads and part of the design marty hansen and he actually said hey give me a call and i'll tell you all about the history of the armivores and how you know i made them and helped create them uh so i'm gonna be doing that and obviously i think that'll be a great opportunity for the next review video is to go over the armivore guys because they are sweet one of my favorites they're just all around really cool and he was nice enough to let me buy a couple of these guys i mean just look how dope they are right they're so cool i mean look there's like an ape head this one's really cool as well i'm shaky because of all the medicine i'm taking right now you get a wing set and then the athrodac and it's actually got a movable mouth which is amazing it looks so freaking sweet i love these guys and of course the classic wolf heads too i'll keep this one sealed and open them up in the review video all right, which one should we do first? I think this is a big lot of Glios that I found on eBay uh, for like a really good price. So let's open it up. This A lot of these are going to be like, I'm starting to collect more of the spare parts for Glios. Yeah, it is. Look at all these guys. I got an insane deal on all of these dudes. Look at how much is here. There's like five figures and a bunch of extra parts we got more armivores we got this purple one here they actually gave me two which is pretty sick they're all like bent up and i gotta arrange them a little bit better but and then we got some like faden esque ones which is really nice a bunch of them actually like dang like holy crap I haven't seen this head design yet that's pretty interesting but oh look at this more just base stuff to use again extra parts it's going to be freaking great i can start actually like building things now whole nother figure here looks awesome with the nice fade in design the purple pink very lockdown s color so i'm gonna get building with a bunch of these extra pieces and parts and just start combining stuff and actually start doing the glios building on these guys now it's gonna be a lot of fun let's stand a few of them up here yeah 
Oh, there's one more head in here. Look at that head. So cool. All right, I think we'll do this one next. I believe I know what's in here. Very excited for this too, because it goes along with the beginning of the video. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, more Cray Booths. Oh, the collection keeps growing. There's so many of these guys, it's ridiculous. Let's see them. We'll go through them really quickly. Check those guys out. They are just so neat. I love this green one, man. It looks so nice. Yep, so more Cray Booths. I'm running out of room on that shelf, as you saw. I'm like completely full, so I'm going to have to get another shelf or something to start putting more of these guys on. Goliaths are going to start overrunning my whole shelving system up here now. All right, let's see this one. I believe this is another lot, uh, another one that I'm intending to use for um, more building purposes. This bag is super gross. Oh, my gosh. But we've got some, like, smoke. Mushi from the God Beast design. Uh, looks pretty good, but that packaging, ugh, nasty. This one's really cool. Check that one out. This blue and purple translucent jelly-esque. Very, very sweet. I think there's one more in here. Who else did I get in here? Oh, oh, he gave me some extras. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, that was sweet of him. He just gave me extras. I believe this is like a build man or something. Uh, that's freaking dope. He just threw in these guys that's awesome definitely want to get these guys out of the packaging though because this is nasty man they are sealed but gross all right last one over here again another one i'm very excited for this one comes from evan friend of mine here from the channel subscriber he's hooked me up with uh, a bunch of my series one logos in the past he gave me a big lot of them and he's the one that kind of started getting me into glio so i kind of ripped the bag in here because he's always posting pictures. He's got a huge Glyos collection, and uh, I got jealous, you know? I'd seen him before him, but he was the one that really, like, was getting me hyped to go into these. So he gave me a bunch here, one of which he gave me some more, like, Mandalorian Mushis from the God Beast design. Very cool. That's, like, Grogu and the Mandalorian design, which is awesome. I love that. And then, of course, we've got, like, Boba Fett design with a little, like, Yoda or Grogu. Uh, so this one's really dope as well. So we got the Mandalorian and, like, a Boba Fett. Ha! <laughs> Speaking of crazy bones... Dude, thank you, Evan. Oh my gosh, you just sent me some aliens. That was really nice of you. Holy cow, dude. Was not expecting that. Was not part of the purchase agreement, but I really appreciate that. That is awesome. What else did he send me, though? He got me one of these skeletons, another one to add to the collection. Really sweet looking skeleton. One of the OG original ones from, I believe, the original release, which is super cool. Definitely one I wanted to have. And I also want to get like the Kickstarter version of the skeleton. Uh, but this is one of the ones, the first ones that Onel Design did. So very cool to have this one. He also gave me one of these guys in a different color variant. So all the heads the wings and the big like armivore figure so i've got a couple of these big like dragon winged ones now and then he also got me this dude i basically begged for him to sell me this because he got it from a facebook community group for glios and i missed the post and he ended up snagging it i was like oh my gosh i'm so jealous dude he is amazing like definitely one of the ones i had been eyeing to try to find and these guys are hard to find what you can't just like go out and like find them I'll, i can just open this one yeah let's look at it so I kind of begged and pleaded a little bit. Uh, he wasn't sure if he was going to keep them or not, but he ended up deciding to sell them to me, which I'm very grateful for because one of my all-time favorites, he is just so freaking dope with this translucent purple. One of my favorite color schemes and everything. It looks amazing. Really, really, really cool. So thank you again, Evan, for selling them to me. I know you were teetering on the edge, but he's he's gone to a good home, okay? He's gone to a good home. He is so sick, dude. Oh, my gosh, he looks awesome. Bunch of extra parts with him and a head. And did we get another head or anything? No, it's just a bunch of extra parts. That's sweet, though, man. Really, really, really dope. So, yeah, that is the Glios Mail Day poll for today. <laughs> ton right here and what's even crazier is i've actually got a whole box right here full of glios figures as well which is just hilarious so yeah the addiction's very well established now and i'm just like waiting to do reviews and things so if you guys do want to see more of the reviews again 
Arm of Wars is definitely going to be next because I want to talk to Marty and talk to him about how he went about designing these things. If you guys have interest in that, let me know in the comments if you're excited for that because I definitely am. He's a super nice guy and was very willing to answer any questions I had. But thanks for watching a little Glios Mail Day edition and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to be getting myself better some more and just uh, trying to get back on schedule here. My whole two, these past two weeks have been insane and just, oh, my whole family's been sick. It's been crazy. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to enjoy opening these on camera a little bit and show these off. And I waited a few days because I've been just been in bed, sick, not being able to focus or do anything, not being able to film and finally have enough energy to feel like I can film. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.